Hey folks, this is our video Bam Life. I think it's video 23 or something like that. Uh, it's been over a month last night I did something like that. Mostly I wait for me to say something or something happens or update about my band and stuff like that. Especially when talk about this young guy right here. Uh, this video is about dealing with a crazy late at night time. Um, very much um, I was parking at the spot. No way, park I thought it would be a safe place. Every time I think of the same place and something happens uh, to me, happened twice. This is the second time. But um, very much, I was parking my van. I parked on the side, had my door open. I was just getting ready to, you know, hop in my van on the side. But I was, before I went to sleep, I did, you know, a little stretching thing. And um, some lady, I guess, she was, got her attention. I knew she was where she was because I see her cigarettes. I'm guessing she was maybe like 20, you know, 50 yards from me. Like you look at the football field, maybe 20, 40, 40 or 50 yards from me. And um, for some reason I was doing got her attention. And she walked around my van. My I was outside my van, so she was. I think she was being crazy nosy. Crazy nosy is not a good mix. And for some reason I asked her, you know, she was like staring at me. I said, well. Can I help you? I said, what do you mean? She was like staring at me and stuff. Where I was. She was like maybe like... Maybe like get 20 feet from me at the time. She's good far distance past my van. A little past 20 feet from my van. Like smoking a cigarette and staring at me. I said, well, can I help you? And it was like, what do you mean? Well, you're staring at me. It's nighttime. You're staring at me. I don't know who you are. And then she, her, her response is, you want me to kick your ass? I heard you want me... You say you want me to kick your ass. And I said, whatever. You know what I mean? I didn't say anything like that. And I explained to her, hey, you know, I have no time for this. You have, obviously, you have some kind of mental issue. And I don't mean to insult her, but it's true. And what I was doing is not her business. You know what I mean? She can't really complain about what I was doing because, you know, we're both loitering, technically trespassing on the property. And, um,. I didn't do anything to her, I didn't say anything to her. For some reason, she had to be nosy to see what I was doing inside my own vehicle. And, and her response was, of course, you know, you know, saying that I want her to kick my ass. I'm like, okay, kind of kinky, but you're not that good. I don't think so. And, um, and I say, yes, a mental issue. I went, she was behind my van, so I walked, had to walk around my van to the door. I see do anything towards me or my vehicle. I will call the cops. I got no problem calling the cops. Just leave me alone. So she went back to her. She, she walked by. And I just moved to a different location. Call time. So I had to look out, make sure she didn't follow me or do anything stupid. But you got to be careful out there, especially being homeless and uh, living in your van. You know what I mean? Sometimes... Things appear to be saved. It's not really safe. It takes more one idiot to do something to you or do damage to you or your vehicle, and that costs you money. And these idiots don't have any money. You can't sue them. You got any money to get anything from them? So, because they'll use the sanity plate or something. Who knows? I don't even know the laws. But if you're just stupid out there, you have to be careful. You know what I mean? Even your own by your own business, it'd be some idiot to do something stupid towards you. So that's what I say. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you got any stories, your own experience being homeless or creepy or crazy people at nighttime. All right, thank you. Bye.